Welcome back to Ozix Live. With just six castaways left, it's time to check out what's going on in the world of Survivor. That's right. This episode, let me just say, was a good episode. I love getting to the end of the season because you really get to the meaty part of it and you're like, okay, now every single time <laughs> it's going to be really good. I agree with that. Yeah. It was so super fun. It was a good episode. Yeah. So this episode kicks off with this word word challenge, which to my surprise, okay, Omar takes the win. And I could be mistaken, but I don't think we've seen him win like an individual Anything. challenge. Yeah. Anything at all. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay. He was that surprised. Me. Yeah, I think he was surprised <laughs> as well. Yes. Um, but now the trick of winning this reward is that you kind of had an ultimatum. So you got to decide what to do with it. So you could either pick two other tribe mates and then you would win chicken and um, vegetables, which is great for, you know, how sustenance. hungry they are and sustenance for the rest of the game. Yes. yes. Or you could go a more strategic route and pick three tribe mates, but instead the reward would be chocolate cake and ice cream. Still great. Cookies. But yes. Oh, it was cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Or, yeah, chocolate chip cookies, I think. Well, dessert. Whatever it was. Yeah. But still, either way. The either sugar way, and the yes. sweets. Yeah. Yes. So Omar, being the strategist that he is, uh -huh. he picks the three of them and leaves Jonathan and Lindsay out, which was honestly kind of smart, okay. in my opinion, because it, it kind of feels like at this point in the game that Jonathan and Lindsay are no longer seeing eye to eye. Not at all. So I was and like, they were mm, left alone. Move. Yeah. And what was so interesting about that is that you have them both kind of talking strategy. Mm -hmm. And I think neither one was being honest. And then yeah. you hear from Jonathan by himself. Yes. And he's saying, well, I don't think she's being honest with me. Yeah. Hopefully she bought my story because yes. I'm not being honest. Either. I know. You know? I like, love okay, that well, they interview. all know what's going on mm -hmm. here. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely it's. it's <laughs> It's just funny to see this. So mm -hmm. now at the immunity challenge, it comes down to, no surprise here, Lindsay and Jonathan. They've Again. been in a showdown this entire season. Yeah. But this week, Lindsay takes the win, which was exciting to see because it was really close. And honestly, I will say, in this um, in this immunity challenge, it was very high impact, and they all really did a great job. Like for a while there, it was kind of hard to tell who might. It take really the was. Win, you know they I mean? were all kind of pulling ahead, yeah. and back, and you know. Yeah. yeah. So that was like kind of fun to watch. Now, what's crazy about this episode is when we get back to camp, there's just such a mixed bag of who is going to go home. You've got Jonathan and Mike who have kind of been together these last few episodes now. They are kind of thinking they just want to go the easy route and get Romy out. And right. then you've got Omar and Lindsay who are like, no, we need to make a big move now and get Jonathan out. Mm -hmm. But then Mary Ann is like bound and mm -hmm. determined to get Omar out because she is like, I'm at this point where I need, really need to make my stamp on the game. Do you think right? she's chilling out a little bit? I feel like Mary Ann's just kind of like, yeah. all of a sudden, just kind of calmer. Yes, I Maybe think so too. Maybe she's trying to be more strategic. I think so too. Just, I'm here for a good time. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I think she is very, um, like, particularly handling herself a certain way getting closer to the end of the game. I think yeah. she knows what she's doing. I think she's extremely smart. And I, quite frankly, I think she, I think her goal is, um, I think she's smarter than what she wants to come off as on purpose, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think she knows what she's doing, but she doesn't want people to de like take that from her. Go you marry know? Yeah. So yeah. at tribal council, like I said, it's very close. And funny enough, the vote does come down to a two versus two versus two vote. Before because there's Jeff, six people. Yes, before because there's six people. Yes. Before Jeff reveals that there is a seventh vote. Now, one of the best parts of the episode, and you may agree, mm -hmm. is Omar, before Jeff pulls out the seventh vote, looks at Mary Ann, and he's like, you did it. Because he, like, like, knows what's going on. Yeah. And she's like, yep, it was which me. Means she had that double vote. Yep, and so Omar is eliminated, which I will say was a little bit sad to see. He has been a, a great strategist in this game. If they do um, like an All-Stars or a Turner season, I, I hope to see Omar back in this game because yeah. I think he is so good at Survivor. I think so. But I will say, to Marianne's credit, like we were just talking, I think this move definitely kind of solidifies her place in this game and definitely could even be viewed as like a winner's move. You know, Omar was kind of one of the people to beat, I think, this entire season. And with just how big of a strategist he was in this game, like that's a huge thing that she, let's just say, did on her own. She yeah. pulled in Romeo to vote for him and she used that extra vote. And she told Mike and Jonathan, she's like, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to get out Omar, whether you join me or not. Yeah. So... That's good. Yes. Now, one funny thing to me, okay, and I was actually reading this online, was the fact that there's still so many idols that these players have, yet yeah. no one played it. Everyone felt super safe, which <laughs> I felt safe. I would never feel yeah, safe. In I this know, game, like ever. I know, which is funny because it just proves the <laughs> amount of like hardcore players we have this season that feel so safe and secure in what they're doing. You uh -huh. know what I mean? That's right. So I was like, wow, that was a really interesting thing. But I just want to know really fast, what are your thoughts on the final five? Who do you think takes it all potentially? 
I somehow feel like Mike has a chance. Oh. I know, that I know hurts. you're gonna say that. That hurts. I know, but I also feel like Lindsay has a very good chance. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'm always rooting for Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, yes. <laughs> because I feel like he's so strong yeah. and probably deserves it, but I don't think he'll win because yeah. they'll want to get him out for yes. that reason. It's, it's very interesting. Let's just say, okay, there's five love. I don't think Romeo's gonna win. No. It's no hate. I think Romeo's a great person. He just hasn't done much in this game, right? I will say, I would not be mad if Marion took it all. Okay, I'm with But you. I would also be very pleased with Lindsay as uh -huh. the winner. I just really don't want Mike or Jonathan. I don't I know. know. Both their games just kind of bother I me. I feel like Mike but, has a chance. I yeah. don't know why. They would both I don't be, know why I feel like that. Mike would be deserving to an extent, I uh -huh. guess, but I don't know. So I think Mike is genuinely happy for other people when they win things. Yes. Like, I think, you know, like the the, the food, he's yeah. like, congratulations. And I think he really means that, you yeah. know? Yeah, no, I That's agree. That's one thing I do like about him. Yeah, so it will definitely be interesting to see how they duke <laughs> it out. So speaking of the finale, you can catch the season finale of Survivor 42 tonight right here on Color 10. <laughs> You can also catch up on the entire season on Paramount Plus or CVS.com. That's right. We'll be right back.